Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this Smo robot. It's an intelligent cordless robotic pool cleaner. All right, so we got our pool cleaner right here. This is a intelligent cordless powerful vacuum. So first off in the box, we get a cord that basically tells you how to contact the company themselves. This is Smo Robot. And then we have a user guide. This basically tells you everything about this vacuum, how to set it up, how to start it, how to charge it, how to use it. So let's go ahead and dive into the user manual. So in this user manual, it'll tell you some quick tips and some information regarding cleaning, setting up. So this is the X11. So right here it says your normal use out of the pool, cleaning the filter, charging the vacuum, recommendations, cautions and warnings. You've got manual book, how to clean the filter. You've got tips, how to pull out the cleaning robot. You've got two different ways. You've got the string or you've got the hook. I actually use a string, which I prefer. Other ones prefer the hook, so you can use the hook or the string. So here's the accessories, everything that comes with this robotic pool vacuum. You get two baskets, cleaning baskets. You get the charging cable, you get the hook, you get some screws, you get the vacuum. So now let's make our way more into the box and see what else we get with this vacuum. So now opening up, we do get some more robot stickers. So you can place these stickers all over the robot if you like or wherever you like to put them stickers. Give them to your kids. It does say that it is cordless and safe. You've got the logo of Smo Robot. So now jumping into this box, it is a lot bigger box in here. You do get a refrigerator magnet. It's a really nice magnet, really thick. So now you got this top part that you have to remove. Once you remove that, it'll expose the vacuum and the accessories. So right here, you can see the vacuum. You have three little boxes on the other side that has the accessories. So you get two small ones and one bigger one. So now let's dive into this box and see what's in this box. And right here is the charging port. And the charging cable to charge this vacuum. So this part will go into the vacuum, this part will go into the wall outlet. And this is the block. This is to protect it from overcharging. And you have the little display light here letting you know when it is completely charged. As well it says on the vacuum. So here's the little buttons that would connect into the vacuum to charge it up. we got the second box so right here is your accessories this is the hook and the cable and your screws so these are extra screws and this is your hook you got a pull you can pull this robot out using this hook or you can use the string which is right here at the bottom. You can pull it up by using the stringer right here that just hangs on the pool and floats around. So now we got this bigger box. So in this box is an extra basket for all your debris. So it does already have one basket inside the vacuum. The great thing about this is they give you an extra one which many vacuum companies don't do that. So this is a plus. So you actually have two carts to hold your debris. Just lift this up and it opens up. 
and nothing falls out. The other vacuum that I used to have, whenever time I lift it out of the pool, it would spill some of the debris back into the pool, which is pointless. So this right here has a ceiling flap. So when it sucks it up, it'll suck it into this crate. And when it's not, it closes so it doesn't fall back into your pool. You've got the lineup hooks here at the bottom to line it up into the vacuum. So now we got the vacuum. This one is a super massive pool vacuum. It is heavy, but it's got some good grips to it. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove that out of the box. So now this is what it looks like. We're just gonna remove the plastic. It is a massive robot. The great thing about it that it is cordless, so you don't have to worry about a big vacuum and a bunch of cords around. You've got the feet, you've got the cleaning brush. These are very soft, so when this moves, these actually will move around, cleaning up the bottom and the sides of your pool. And that's what it looks like from the bottom. So these are the feet. This is what will climb on the side of the walls. And this right here will clean your bottom of your pool as well as the side. This is what the bottom is. That's where all the dirt and debris goes in from the bottom. This is what the side looks like. See all the debris and dirt will go into there and you won't worry about it falling back into your pool. This is the X11. Now this is your charging port and it does tell you right here when you're done charging it, you need to screw it back tightly so it doesn't get wet and ruin the charging port. And at the top you have like a little fan to help move it along. So now I'm just gonna grab the charging port to show you how to install the charging port. So when it's charged up, this little line right here at the top will light up. You've got different modes here. You've got the power off, you've got standard, and you've got fast mode. So standard is more of a thorough cleaning and a fast mode is just to do something really quickly. That would be probably, if you're gonna do it every couple days, standard I would recommend maybe once a week if you want a, a thorough clean of your pool. It's got a nice little handle grip. It is a bit heavy. So now on the back side, this is where your motor is. This is where your filter baskets. So what it says to open it up, you got to push that down and you got to lift it up and it lifts up completely right here. So the back completely lifts up and you do have another basket. So you get two baskets, which is a great thing about this. So you can just pop this one out if it's full and put in the other one and then clean that other one up. Back here is all the motor and everything. So they're exactly the same. Two baskets, extra cleaning power. So there's your motor right there. As long as your charging port is completely closed, you ain't gotta worry about it being damaged. Make sure that you watch out so this doesn't close on your hand. You just put it right back in there, close it up, and it's ready to go. Just tap on it and it should lock up in there. So now this is a side profile. That's your buttons. This is your charging port. So when you want to charge your robot, you just unscrew this. And then you have your little charging port. So we'll grab the little charger. You'll have to line it up. It's a little heavy, so you have to do it with two hands. Make sure it lines up the two buttons at the top and the big one on the bottom. And once you get it in there, you push it in and then you screw it in. It only takes about an hour and a half to completely fully charge this battery on this um, robot. Just twist it up in here. Now once you got that nice and tight and locked, Go ahead and plug it into the wall plug. And this little display up here will tell you how the battery is. This one here is not completely charged, but we're gonna go and completely charge this. So when it's completely charged, the whole thing will light up green. 
Now that it is completely charged, we're just going to unscrew this and remove it. Pop it off. Make sure we put the top back on, screwing it up really tight. Make sure it's nice and secured because this is going into the water and you do not want that to be exposed to the water. So make sure it's finger tight. So this is finger tight. Now we're gonna go and test this out into the swimming pool. So we'll be back once we get this into the swimming pool. So now we wanna turn this on. We wanna make sure you have it on a flat surface. Turn it on to the mode you want. So this will be lighted up. This is blue, so when it's ready, it'll flash yellow. So once it starts flashing yellow, you wanna insert it into the pool. Make sure it gets all the water in there. It'll take a few seconds to completely submerge the water and make sure all the water's inside the vacuum. So we're just gonna wait for the water to submerge all the way in the vacuum. The great thing about this, it is an intelligent vacuum, means that it doesn't clean by randomizing. It cleans the pool from edge to edge, including the walls and the water line. It is 10 times more efficient than traditional cleaners. It's also cordless, meaning you don't have to worry about having any cords, no tangles, no tripping, 100% cordless design, and quadruple battery protections deliver safe, easy, and more convenient cleaning experience. It is super powerful, so once it starts, you can see that it is, starts to take off. So this thing only requires um, one and a half hours of charging. So once it's completely charged, one charge will give you three and a half hours of runtime. It is 188 watt suction power, 10,000 milliamp battery, triple smart motion, ultra scrubbing brush wheels, so you can see that it's climbing up my wall. I did not think that it would do on my above ground pool, but it does. So not only is this good for below ground pools, but it also does the above ground pools. So with the whole pool vacuum charged, it can get up to 1180 feet an hour with a larger area cleaned in the same time period with a traditional randomized route one charge for three and a half hours it can cover up to 4100 feet so that basically cleans my entire swimming pool so it is totally easy to use all you have to do is just switch it on and then let it run from by itself it is automatic it will start to clean on its own until the job is done, requiring very little user action. The SMO Robot Intelligent Pool Cleaning Robot is a true set and forget robot. It is cordless design, makes this pool cleaning robot tangle free, time saving, easy to use and store. It is lightweight, compact and easily portable. So you can take this anywhere you wanna go. So if you're visiting a friend and they have a dirty pool, you can take this with you or you can actually use this on your above ground and your below ground the great thing about this is that this model here it will clean the walls and the water line it has got an intelligent path planning the floor intelligent plan planning on the walls it does a in shape on the ground which is the floor it does u shape so you can see it's climbing the walls right now and it senses the water line, so it stops right where the water line begins. This is an excellent wall climber, up to 90 degree walls with smooth surfaces, automatically measures water depth and thoroughly cleans walls, water line adapting to the unique V-shaped path. It has an ultra scrubbing brush wheels and a 188 water pump. Officially scrub away organic stains such as stuck on surfaces, easy to pick up falling leaves, dust, grit, hair, and algae. It's adaptable to different pool edges, taking U-turns repeatedly to remove debris accumulating on the corners and the edges. It is a full charge in 90 minutes, more efficient, saving more time. The best thing that it is cordless. It's a fine filter for rough and heavy debris. 
like leaves, hair, bugs, gravel. Ultra fine filter for ultra fine particles like sand, algae, mineral deposits, dirt, and more. It's suitable for all pools, including pebbles, plaster, concrete, paint, tiles, granite, vinyl line, PVC, and also these above ground pools like I have right here. So you can see it moving around the bottom of the pool. So it's automatically stops by the nearest wall after it's clean is done, ready to be retrieved with the hook or the floater. So when it is completely done, it will sit right next to the side so it is easy to retrieve. So now it's just getting the rest of the walls around and letting it finish cleaning up the pool. So now it's sensing. Now it's going up on the other side. It's going to move its way up. I do have some pool lights so it senses that so it actually stops right there and it doesn't knock it off. So now I'm just going to go ahead and let this finish up cleaning my pool. But if you guys are looking for a nice, intelligent, cordless, powerful pool vacuum, I would highly recommend looking into this one. This one is a nice pool cleaner. It cleans everything, even up on the side of the walls. So if you're like me and then you have above ground pool and don't think that these ones that climb the wall clean it, well, I just showed you in the video that it is cleans the pool walls very well all the way up to the water line i cannot highly recommend this enough this is a great pool cleaner i would say go ahead and check this one out you will love this pool cleaner